knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I, won't back down. I am not an African American. You're Oreo cookie, white in the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an Afro. I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I will slap you. Go ahead, make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100, 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. United the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. Patrick, welcome to the show. Who won, who lost? Romney won on points and facts. However, um, Obama succeeded in sowing some doubt about Romney in the, in the minds of, I think, the uninitiated, uh, the, the ignorant. As uh, Curtis from Virginia mentioned, I thought he made a very, very good point. And I thought the same thing myself last night when I was watching it. I realized that, you know, the ignorant are going to like that because they like sub- they, they like style, not substance. I Obama, really- Obama, if you look like you're angry and you're really taking it to the other guy and you're standing strong and you're saying stuff, it doesn't matter to a whole lot of Americans, unfortunately, at this point, what you're saying. I, I think Romney won. Let me just, I'm not going to say we can't have two winners. I'm not going to say there were two winners. Romney won. I'm just making some uh, points that uh, Obama got back some ground. And I also think in terms of degree of difficulty, if this was the Olympics and we were holding up numbers for d- difficulty sake, I, I think, and you were saying earlier that you thought Romney had a difficult job. Maybe he did. To, to tell the truth under those circumstances. But yeah, he a, had to keep fighting the lies that Obama, he had to defend those lies. How do you defend the lies and present your point of view? Right, and that's tough. But I think that when you're like Obama and you have no record to stand on, I mean nothing, just four years of devastation, that it's kind of, it, it, you've got to be a big-time liar, a, a pretty high-level liar to even get in there and debate that and look like you're kind of take giving and taking. And I think that was a, a big... I think Obama uh, showed last night that he is a very high-level liar. And I wouldn't I wouldn't discount that because he's one of the best liars I've seen. 888-775-3773. 888-77-JESSE. We're coming back to the phones. Rainbows and waterfalls run through my mind. Uh, let's go to soundbite P. Here's Obama on Hillary Clinton. Secretary Clinton has done an extraordinary job, but she works for me. I'm <laughs> the president, and I'm always responsible. Yeah, right. And that's why nobody's more interested in finding out exactly what happened than I did. The day after the attack, Governor, I stood in the Rose Garden, and I told the American people in the world that we were going to find out exactly what happened. Lie. That this was an act of terror. Liar. And I also said that we're going to hunt down those who committed this crime. And then a few days later, I was there greeting the caskets (laughs) coming into Andrews Air Force Base and grieving with the families. And the suggestion that anybody in my team, whether the Secretary of State, our UN ambassador, anybody on my team, would play politics or mislead when we've lost four of our own governor. Shut up. Is offensive. Satan. I think it's interesting the president just said something which which is that on the day after the attack he went to the Rose Garden and said that this was an act of terror. That's what I said. You said in the Rose Garden the day after the attack it was an act of terror. <laughs> it was not a Please spontaneous proceed. demonstration. Is that what you're saying? Please proceed, governor. Uh-huh. I, I, I want to make sure we get that for the record because it took the president 14 days before he called the attack in Benghazi Thank you. an act of terror. Get the transfer. Uh-uh. uh-uh. Thank you, Mitt. And, and then I'll play this back to have you respond and take some more calls. Here's where uh, Mama Candy Crowley, uh, she comes to Obama's defense. 
on saying Libya was an act of terror. It, 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 he did, in, in fact, sir. So let me let me See call that? it an act of Can terror. Can you say that a little louder, Candy? He, he did call it wow. an act of terror. It did as well take. It did as well uh, take uh, two weeks or so uh, for the whole idea of there being a riot out there about this tape uh, to come out. You're the, correct this, about that. The administration. The administration. Indicated did that, that this was a, a, a reaction to a to a video and was a spontaneous reaction. It, did. it took them a long time to say this was a terrorist act by a terrorist group, and and to suggest, am I incorrect in that re regard? On on Sunday, the uh, your your secretary, your, excuse me, the uh, ambassador of the United Nations went on the Sunday t television shows and and spoke about how yeah, this yeah. was a spontaneous I'm reaction. Happy, I'm me, happy I, to have a longer conversation you, about foreign absolutely, policy. Absolutely, but I want I want to move you on and also okay, so people. Happy to can that go too. To the you say? Well, n a number of things going on there. You got clapping in the audience, maybe led by Michelle. Oh, I thought they weren't supposed to clap. Right. You have this woman, Candy Crowley, butting in and, and save, trying to save the, uh, this guy's bacon. And then you hear Obama at the end saying, you know, uh, I can say something, but let's move on. And then she moved him away from the subject, yep. and he happily moved on. Now, here's the truth about what happened, what was said. The president... Uh, Obama, in the Rose Garden speech that he gave the day after, he said he did use the word acts of terror, but here's how he did it. And I just heard this from Chris Wallace on, uh, uh, the, uh, on uh, Fox. He spoke for eight paragraphs about a video causing this problem, <laughs> the, 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 these killings, not a problem, killings of four Americans. He talked eight paragraphs. He, he set it up with a video. And then he said, no act of terror, no acts of terror will blah, 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 you know, cause us not to. He throws in the word no acts. He didn't say this act of terrorism, right. which, by the way, at the time, they had very good information to know this was al-Qaeda uh, from North Africa. His foreign policy is coming down in flames. Al-Qaeda is coming out of North Africa and over, overrunning places uh, like Libya. So they they knew exactly what happened that it was an act of terrorism yep. from terrorists. Okay, yep. it very specifically these weasels and Obama is a weasel knows how to use certain language. He throws in no acts of terror. Eight paragraphs down where he talks about a video, a Muhammad video causing this problem. He throws a little thing in there just to give them a bone. So in some ways, so later they can say, we, yeah, we were talking about this way back when. Yeah. There was no emphasis on it. He threw it in eight paragraphs later. He didn't even say acts of terrorism by terrorists. It's amazing how he stand there and just lie by, like that. By the way, I'm going to say this, Jesse. I said it last week, and you, you, you challenged me on this. I'm going to say it again. Romney and Ryan are coming in somewhat weak on the Libya situation. They just are. Uh, I don't know why they're doing it. I don't know if they're afraid to be called the, the, what Obama's saying, that they're going in politically. You know, they're making political hay out of this and doing press releases. They're and press, saving it for Monday. Press conferences. Maybe. I, I don't think so. I don't think people save things because there's early voting going on there. I don't think anybody's I don't saving anything. That. There are people who have already voted. That's right. I don't think anybody's saving anything. that? Anything. Now, I, granted, I think Monday he'll come in stronger. Yeah. But I'm, I'm telling you, there is a reason that Romney and Ryan have come in soft on this. They're making a huge mistake on this because they are in the right. And to allow Obama to get on his high horse and act like, I'm the ones looking at the coffins. Buddy, you're the one. There would be no coffins if it wasn't for your screw-up. That's right. That's what Romney should have said. Yeah. And, it's uh, Just uh, for the record, that woman, Candy Crowley, later after the debate admitted that Romney was right and Obama was wrong. But that was too late. It was too late. The people who were watching the debate were now watching her apologize for being right. wrong. One, one more thing. Message, Real fast. Message to Romney, Watergate. Okay? Not, but it's not Watergate. It's worse than Watergate because nobody died at Watergate. That should be the bumper sticker. Nobody died at Watergate. Let's go down to, oh, what's this, Alabama. Alabama, WIQR, 1410 on the dial. Talk to Brian. Brian, good morning, sir. Welcome to the show. Thanks for calling. Hey, good morning to you guys. Uh, it, was my understanding, it was my understanding that the debate last night was about foreign policy, correct? I mean, that was... No, that's coming uh, up next day. week, next Monday. M mix of foreign and domestic, and then next week is foreign policy. Right. Well, this is the question. I don't know how we can submit a question, but this is the question that needs to be asked. As Christians, our relationship with Israel right now is on a shaky uh, as soul as we've ever been on. Yeah. You know, you look back at Obama, and he's made so many mistakes. I mean, where would I uh, put those in an in a order? But I think we'll look back maybe 
four, maybe five, maybe in one year as the worst mistake he ever made was hurting our relationship with Israel. I mean, we're talking about a prime minister that got on a plane and went to Washington, D.C., and he thought that Obama was such a disgrace, he wouldn't even break bread with it. And that's an important part of their culture. That's the way they sort of see if you're accepting. And our relationship with Israel is is so unstable right now. And and I, I don't know, where, where do we go from here? Uh, we got, are we trying to de- deny biblical prophecy? I don't know. This but, is, uh, <laughs> I understand your frustration, too, because this is what we got to do. We got to get Obama out of there. He's not, Obama is a far left liberal socialist, redistribution of wealth, black liberation theology, white hating, capitalist hating, Jewish hating, Christian hating man. And he has revealed these things over the last four years. That's why I said earlier in the program if folks re elect this guy again, then they deserve what they get because they now see what he's all about. 